It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1777, recorded Thursday, April 30th, 2020. Time to strip. episode of the Gizwiz, we have a new way to strip wires, a power bank with something a little bit different, my final retro gadget, and how you can share some mixtapes in, you know, the 21st century, and your videos all next on the Gizwiz! It's the same old show with Dickie D, and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz, because gadgets are his business, they've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blowing LEDs, get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here is our gadget czar. Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? Uh, I'm doing good, and you, sir? Doing good myself. So far, good. so good. <laughs> are you getting cabin fever? I think or I'm immune. Beyond? I think I'm immune. Because, uh, you know, I've kind of uh, structured my whole life to be in a cabin, you know? Like, I could, as long as oh, I had okay. gigabit Ethernet and a constant supply of food, I'd be fine, you know? Oh, okay. Well, D Dennis felt that way for a while, but <laughs> last night he said, you know, I like staying in, but the novelty has worn off. <laughs> yeah. As we enter like week seven. And, I, yeah, uh, I, I would agree with that. Like, I am someone who, I definitely am fine with being a loner for a long period of time, but I do miss going to things. And like going yeah. to the movies, like having something to break up the days that's different. Like I liked looking for things to do in Dallas and like going to do them. Um, and that I like just walking happen. around Staples. Like if I had nothing to do, <laughs> yeah. I just roam through Staples and go, oh, that's a new way to make envelopes more expensive, you know? So <laughs> Yeah, but now before you go shopping, you have to wait till midnight and get a mask and handy wipes and gloves and come home and de-louse yourself. And, oh, my God. Yeah. It, and also just like meeting, like I feel I haven't had like a group friend meet up yet. Like, you know, we used to go over to each other's homes and, you know, watch stuff or whatever. And I was like, I feel like I could but I would feel really guilty about it. Like, I'd be, like, looking over my shoulder, like, who's seen me? Go hang out with friends. Like, are they going to get mad at me? <laughs> you know, like... Uh, yeah, no, I know, I know. The the one good thing is the marina reopened, uh, to, only to boat owners. You can't bring friends in. But that that was uh, good. And after six months, I started my engine, and it started right up, so that was good. And there's another, uh, there's a device that raises and lowers the engine directly up and down called a jack plate. For some reason, that's not working. <sighs> but the, the internet, uh, you know, just type in Bob's Machine Shop, uh, jack plate stuck in total up position. Is there a manual way to get it down? Oh, yeah. And someone said, take a screwdriver and short across the two relays. And if it goes in the wrong direction, go to the other relay. <laughs> Do the other way. <laughs> yeah. So I went down. I said, this is this, 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 this easy. Shorted it across. Goes there. <laughs> said, beware, you may see sparks. And I did. Um, so the first relay was up and it was already as far up as it could go. So I just shorted out the other relay and it came down to where I wanted it. So uh, Sunday, we're actually going to take the boat out for a little run. That's Which will be great. Yeah. I love yeah. that the internet is kind of like the community of people that you ask advice. Like, <laughs> all the time. I, uh, there's some, you know, some issue, and I'll just Google it. Sometimes I'll add, uh, I find Reddit be really useful for that sort of thing. Yes. So right. I'll just add, whatever my question is, like, um, can I go up to the UPS truck and ask for my package, Reddit? And then, like, there'll be someone asking that, and it's like, oh, I'm a UPS driver, and I prefer it when people come over to me because oh, I don't have, how, you know, <laughs> it's like stuff like that. Um, and so, like, yeah, that happens. I love that. You yeah. can just ask it anything. So with what car I, stuff and engine stuff, 
He's watched a YouTube video about it. And someone's made a video it's, about it. Someone. It's it's great. It's just, and the other thing is just phones because uh, I have a mechanic, uh, Bob Kylo, uh, down in Florida. And uh, I said, Bob, I'm back in the battery compartment here, there's a red lever that I can't remember what it does. I said, well, ha hang on a minute. Click. <laughs> Click. Photo. Send. send. He says, yeah. oh, that red lever, that's the main power uh, shut off. He said, if you accidentally hit that or there's a short, he said, that will stay down, but a little lever will uh, sh come out of the side. And if you want to reset the power on the boat, close that lever and that'll uh, the pet boat will be repowered again and i'm thinking that was so easy rather than say you know there's a little box and there's like a button and just send <laughs> photos it's, it's about it's three great. inches to the left of that one yes, pipe exactly. that seems important yeah it, it, totally. exactly i, I so. texted support this week i <laughs> i got something that came in and it had a big old chip in it and i it, uh, in the door it was a uh, mini fridge and a huge chip in the mini door, in the mini fridge door, and I wanted it fixed. I was, you know, I've had stuff with like chairs break like that. So I call them up and they normally send a part, like a replacement part. And it had in the manual, sometimes they freak out if you return it back to Amazon. They prefer you not do that to screw Oh, yes, yes. Analytics or whatever. So they prefer you work with them directly. And so I called up the number and I said, hey, I had this huge chip in the door of this thing that was just delivered. Um, and they go, okay, well, um, could you text us a photo of it and also uh, take a screenshot of your Amazon order page, your order confirmation, and text it over? <laughs> it's like, to, to this number that I'm talking to you now on? And they're like, yes. <laughs> and so, sure enough, that's what I did. Just hang up, oh, that... open up the messages app, send them a text message. And then they would finish the whole rest of it via text message. And it was so simple. It was like, why isn't everyone doing this? this is so, like, oh, yeah. Well, you so know, great. at CES, like three years ago, there was a car company, maybe in Sweden, where you, go, you have trouble. You take your phone, you open their app, and you bring your phone up to the engine, and you start moving around the engine and it'll say, oh, we, this looks wrong. Yeah. <laughs> or check a fuse. Hang on. We'll draw an arrow. There's a box here. Look for a fuse there. And I'm thinking, this is like calling the doctor. You know, get, yeah. a, a, get a mechanic at a terminal yeah. and show him your engine. I think that these types of technologies are going to take off is... I mean, they don't got to pay anybody. They pay a developer once, and then once that technology is there, you know, you just keep it updated, and you don't have to keep all these technicians around. And that's why where I feel like augmented reality is going to go. And um, you could also have connected tools. So, like, let's say you have mm -hmm. a ratchet that can tell the pressure, and it's like, okay, turn here to the perfect amount of force. Like, absolutely, this is... Uh, yeah. This is well, happen. I did my first... All day, well, let me see. It started at noon. I had to, I had to bail out at, at 7. Uh, an all-day press event. 22 oh. products. Hmm. And it, it was pretty interesting. The, 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 the one thing is that when you see 22 sizzle reels in a row, <laughs> every manufacturer has. Yeah. You, you and I joke about this all the time. Is You see the, their, the picture of something in the dark. Yeah. And then you see a little glint of metal. Space. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then the name reveal as it fades yeah. out of fog. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But the guy running it was very good. He, you know, he, people would talk and he says, see, you have three minutes. And they would talk to him and he said, you have 30 seconds. Um, he kept it moving. And, um, uh, I thought it was going to be fascinating. I, I found one thing. Um, my next, uh, thing for ABC news is bike gadgets because May is bike safety month. Um, uh, and this is a press event all about bikes and bike gadgets, but it was aimed at not people who ride bikes, people who like race bikes. <laughs> and yeah. they're talking about a titanium hammer that was a hundred and ten dollars. 
<sighs> um, so yeah, I, I well, finally you know, found if you got to get that titanium ha- hammer, you know, it's, yeah. I guess there's But then you got to buy a titanium market. bike to hit it so you have something <laughs> right. to hit it with. Or a titanium nail. And those are $25 <laughs> a piece. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I yeah. found something that was $20 and it turned out to be fine. So at least I got one thing. Um, hey, well, should we into jump it. into yeah, stuff? Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, the video will explain itself. There was an interesting uh, thing in the New York Times this past Sunday, uh, end of April, Sunday time, saying on the travel section, this is the final travel section for a while, uh, mainly because no one's traveling. And they're replacing it with the home section. And so this past Sunday's Times had the travel section and the home section. So the home section had an article, ta-da, since everybody's staying home, best laptop desk. Actually, they had three of them. And this is the one they picked for the best laptop desk with legs. It's called the Avantree. That is Bre- uh, being rebranded Neato. Okay. <laughs> so this is what it looks like over here. Uh, see, this one is branded of entry. I actually bought this two years ago, but it hasn't changed. I'll tell you what changed about it. That's really ridiculous. All right. So this is for people who want uh, a laptop table with legs. And I actually tried using this for a while as a standing desk. Okay, it's a little too high for a standing desk. Uh, so basically, I think I have the legs adjusted. I do. I'm wrong. So what you can do is you can adjust this. Let me open that all the way up. And open this one all the way up. Okay, so it goes from 9.4 inches up to 12.6 inches. It's good for breakfast in bed. Breakfast in bed, yeah. <laughs> then you open these little locks at the side. And then you can angle it down to zero. One part of the, uh, the uh, description say zero to 30 degrees. Another part says zero to 35 degrees. Uh, and now <laughs> give or take five degrees. Go. But I don't think <laughs> you want it more than this. Your laptop would slide off. It says for laptops no larger than 17 inches. The unit itself weighs a little more than three pounds, okay? But it's still open, so let me just bring this on back and lock it this way. And I'll bring it all the way down. So if you want to just use it once in a while, you can. it folds up pretty easy. Just run those legs back down, and then these fold in, and then that folds down. Uh, all right. So I like this. This locks in, but it's removable. I'm not going to take it out to show you because you can either lock it in or you can put two little tabs in the holes where this locks in. So here's the bad part. And it's, it's, it's annoying because of everybody staying home. This one I bought it was $50, but it was selling for 40 It is now, according to the Times, $75. <laughs> But when you go to the website, it's $80. Yes, exactly, exactly. So I did some searching on Amazon, and this is the slightly bigger version, and a couple things I like. I like that it has a handhold here. I like that it's big enough that there's room for a laptop and a mouse, and it's in black teak, it's $62. And 63, it depends on, on what color you get it, but you can get it as low as $62. That's all, uh, $80 is ridiculous. And uh, I was on the tech guy last week with Leo, and Leo was recommending the Logitech 920 that we all use, we all bought for $60. They were $240. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Um, Okay, so if you're looking for a laptop desk with legs, I would recommend that one. To tell you the truth, if you look at the bottom of that, this looks exactly like it came from the same manufacturer that made this one. And it's $18 cheaper and it's bigger. So that's my recommendation. Bye. That is nice. 
It's uh, it's pretty yeah, but ridiculous but, the price. Yeah, you know, I I I brought up Camelizer. Yes. And January when when it started that people should be staying home, you saw the price of that thing go thirty nine ninety nine to seventy nine nine. Oh, good, you have cam. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. And you see January 20, it's like January. That was probably the 1st of February when people started staying home. It's like a stock market. <laughs> yes. I uh, mean, that's I could, I could understand saying, hey, you know, we could make an extra 10 bucks here, but double the price. Yeah, that's hilarious <laughs> and, and depressing. And depressing. Oh, my oh, look at it. at one point, it was thirty four dollars. Yeah, that's the uh, th the used. Used was thirty four. Oh, that was used. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. okay. That is too funny. That is too funny. Yeah. I and mean, this is the other version you were talking about. Yes. That's yes. And someone that now that says American cherry. Someone in the chat room says, "Is it cherry?" Now, mine says cherry but it says made of 100 percent high quality engineered wood <laughs> yes <laughs> mdf mm. <laughs> exactly let's say yeah. yeah the cherry veneer <laughs> cherry yeah and if you want it like at a plain thing like that it's even cheaper it's 61 dollars yeah look at that uh, but i like I the wood grain I, the wood grain's kind of yeah. nice I like uh, that. I like that a lot. Yeah. And, and yeah. this price hasn't changed at all. I just looked at Camelizer. It's, it's, oh, did it? Oh, oh, okay. oh that one oh, actually has. Look at that. Wait a second. It was oh, a 40, it did. It that went one did. From Which 20... one was I on? The because Mars that one, was I, when people yeah. started staying home. Yeah. I was looking at one of these, and it, and it, it, it see, this one gives me hope. This is a year, and it's stayed at 49. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Wait, but that's okay. not the price now. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Camelizer. Wait a second. Because uh, that's 63, but Camelizer says that the price is 39. I don't know. Is that... <laughs> so, anyway. The, uh, the, uh, the just You should invest, is what we've learned. Uh, the price <laughs> yeah. is rising. Buy now. Sell yeah. later. If you were buying anything for the home, and that was ridiculous. Last Saturday... Uh, this woman called in. She said, oh, I need to buy a webcam because I want to see my family. And Leah said, oh, the, the, the Logitech 920. That's so cheap. He went on, on Amazon. It was $240. It, yeah. Yeah. It's because oh, everyone's my. sold out. Everyone's, everyone's using yes. you know, video communication. Um, and yeah. it's – I mean, I feel, like, guilty. I have <laughs> – <laughs> We're using three for this show, and I have multiple in the in the back. Yeah, in case I have one an breaks. old uh, an old uh, Logitech somewhere too. But I ain't yeah. potting with it. Ah, <sighs> okie dokie. Uh, so okay, let's... all right. So we move on to another gadget that I found very useful, and this is it. Hi, Mister Gizwiz. I'm coming in to help you with your spot. Hi, Mister Stripper. <laughs> Uh, okay, we don't have to do what the heck is it because this is professional manufacturer, uh, otherwise known as the No Easy Automatic Wire Stripper and Cutter for electronic and automatic repair. Oh, an automobile repair. Okay, I do a lot of wiring down at the boat, M mainly the phone wire, okay? Uh, Verizon, you know, you think Verizon is ever going to come to the boat basin to, re to repair a copper wire? No, uh, because they can't get in. And anyway, so I bought one of these and I like the way it works. And I thought I'd show it to you in case you're doing uh, any kind of repairs. So I don't know the technical names. I think this is CC wire, uh, crappy cord wire. OK, <laughs> so this is. You know, actually, I have, I have, if you, AWG, what is it, American Wire Gauge, I think. Lamp it's, Wire. It's what? No, this it's is like, this is, oh. this is like Lamp Wire, but it, boy, that is. Mm. Uh, so you just put that up to there, and, mm. all right? Bam. So that stripped that yeah. really neat. This is a little 
gauge, but you know, if you had a night light, that might be good. Uh, the company says it's especially good for speaker wire. This is old speaker wire I had. So let's see how that does. You put it up to there and all right. Oh. Did a decent job oh, on that. Very nice. Okay. And also, in, of course, the phone mainly goes out in the winter, the dead of winter, you're down there and it's like 20 degrees. And uh, so this is probably, uh, I'm going to say it's 14 gauge wire. This is more like you would have for a decent lamp, yeah. probably an appliance. This is sort of on the heavy side. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Mm hmm. Oh, that did, did a nice job on that. Okay. Now, this I just found in, in the wire box. I have no idea. I have no I idea what, what I have this from. for. Looks uh, like LED but we'll wire. we'll see what, if it does this. Probably not. Is that four or three? In there? Four. But we'll four. see. Huh. Uh, uh, uh. No, it says, wait, I don't recognize that. <laughs> I do not I do not recognize this. No, it can't do it. That's a riot, isn't it? No. What are the three wires? Uh, there are four wires oh. here. So it it is flummoxed about trying to do this. No, it just it it's very funny. It it doesn't it can't grab it. I guess it's too it's very thin. Mm. But for the other wires, well they're all stripped now. Uh it's very reasonable. Uh thirteen bucks. And a little more than four stars from 539 people. So if you have wire stripping to do and you want it to be relatively easy to do, this is a pretty easy way to do it. And then also down at the boat, I do, a, I can't even do it here with my nails. Let me just see. Where was that cheaper wire? Yeah. Down at the boat, I end up usually stripping these here like that. Because I twist wires together, so I do it like that, and then I, I take off uh, a much larger piece of wire, and then that way I do twist, and then I put one of those twist caps on. So this is pretty neat for stripping wire pretty easily. That's it. My favorite <clears throat> stripper. Bye. Gypsy Rose Lee. Gypsy Rose Lee. <laughs> I like that a lot because if you've ever had to strip cables, <laughs> it gets tedious with just a normal like wire cutter where you're trying to get the little jacket just perfect so you don't cut any of the other stuff and uh, pull it off. Dennis does it with a knife. <laughs> like a steak uh, knife? Uh, yes. And then I said, well, like a pocket it, knife. you got the insulation, but you also took out half the wire. It's like yeah, a exactly. thin wire. That happens all the yeah, time yeah. with a wire cutter. But you know, does this ever happen to you that you you start using something without ever looking at the uh, directions? Oh yeah. Well, All right. Well, I, so I was typing some notes, and I see on the back of this device there is an adjustment oh. for very thin wires. Oh. So I just was reading that now. So maybe I could trim that four wire thing. Interesting. And I, I didn't know that there was a wire cutter down in the bottom here. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see either thing. I was just so, I'm just so It's like, it works. You know, you close it, you open it, it works. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I have a 150 foot uh, heavy duty lamp wire that I've, using for the phone wire because the original phone wire is under the dock and that rotted out years ago. Uh, but there were wakes down there and the, you know, so yeah. I'm forever re uh, splicing that phone wire. And I assume this is really just for single wires, like with a cat five, cat six cable. Oh you got yeah. Bundles. Yeah. It's, it's not gonna, yeah. It's obviously not going to strip all those, but I don't think it would even strip the jacket of the bundles. And then you I don't think no, I don't think so either. Yeah. I think you have to go to the seventeen dollar model. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, this is just for your average. Oh, well, you know, it it said it shows those uh, eighty eighty wires too. Yeah, um, I forgot. It was in the uh, go. Oh, there it is. Description fourteen oh. to twenty four A W G. According to them. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, that's nice. I I yeah. still haven't bought one. I feel like I need should 
because I've been stripping wires recently, especially with the LED wiring and stuff like that. It makes a lot of sense to get that's one. That's your new be... passion, right? Yeah. Yes, that's my newest hobby is individually addressable LEDs. It's a it's a big rabbit hole. I'm I'm still working on it. Just well, wait got... a minute. So so if you have a hundred LEDs on a line, each one has its own number. You have to make sure to get the right strip. So there are like there's a whole bunch of different varieties of of strip. It'll say normally on whatever page that it is individually addressable. If you have a big strip of LEDs, you it's probably s strip addressable. So you could do you could change all the RGB values for the entire strip pretty easily. Yeah, you're right, um, okay. But individually addressable LEDs, every pixel is addressable. Now there's um, different types. So like uh, on one, which I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, I think it's WS2811s is the name of the uh, like chip. Those, every pixel is three LEDs on that line. And then, the WS twenty eight twelves or twenty eight twelve Bs, those every LED is individually addressable. Oh my god! And, and what would you do that? What would you do with that? Make really cool animations and like oh 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 stuff okay. like that. Okay. So that's what I'm working on now. Is I have the software. So you saw the robotic lights that I was I did last episode, and. Yes that program can basically control a ton of different lights. And so my hope is that I can get the LEDs, get a converter from basically an XLR, or sorry, uh, the DMX you know, software that I'm using, convert it into individually addressable format, which is a different sort of format, and then be able to run them from the program so that any time that I, so all the light colors, like I'm, I have a lot of cyans and pinks in that other studio, I could use that with the LEDs and have them like breathe or have them animate or have them do whatever I want. Wow. Um, the cool, so. Well, when if, this virus is over, <laughs> you're gonna be too busy to go out, you'll say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll be in my LED studio, not addressing doing LEDs. Yeah, and they're really really cool. So I've I've bought now three bunches of twenty eight twelve Bs. Um, so and are you, are you buying individual LEDs? Like no, so you'll buy them in in meters. So like I bought five. Oh, oh meters. they're wired already. Yeah, they're already oh. on the PCB strip. board. They're already yeah. on the strip. Um, and Bleak is mentioning that if one of them fails, the whole line fails. Luckily, the ones I'm doing, so they make a 28, I think it's 15, 2815s, they have a data backup line. So that if an LED fails, the whole line doesn't fail. If two of them fail in a row, then, then they fail. But luckily, I can just reach behind my desk and just kind of do a patch from one LED to the other if, a, if another one fails. Um, the 13 oh doesn't, the, yeah, people are saying, people in the chat room know, I'm learning. They and do. It's, it's really, really cool stuff. Um, and you also realize like, you, you, you're going to have to start decorating your Christmas tree like <laughs> May 15th. So, so this, is, <laughs> this is where this leads. This is the gateway drug to having one of those homes <laughs> that does oh, a dance and does like all the animation. You know, this is, this is unfortunately where this whole hobby oh, ends oh my God. is with the crazy Christmas house that has crazy animations and, oh, whatnot and goes oh, to music. So, oh, okay. And okay. whatnot. Now um, I get the picture. Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. But I, I, I don't think, I think I'm stopping at the office. I might do something in here because these LEDs uh, are old. I've never wired them correctly. <laughs> you can and always also we see can this. see this. We don't have to drive by your house. <laughs> right. Exactly. There you go. Um, but yeah, getting into LEDs, it was so hard to get started. But once I finally grasped it, it was like, wow, this is so cool. So I'm anyone who knows, I'm 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 already set up with a few um, boards. Of the um, shoot, I forget the name of the boards, but I'm gonna use WLED to make it all work and get oh. it all together. So wow, well now I feel like a nobody with just this little thing. <laughs> There's some really good solutions if you don't want to go like 
manual like I'm doing. Like I want to control every single pixel with my own program. And you can do pretty good without all that stuff. Oh um, yeah. No, I have the, you know, 16 feet. Yeah. Uh, not totally addressable, but you can, you know, you can animate them. them. And, you can yeah, animate exactly, them. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Um, Wait, was you still oh, have one more gadget? Oh yeah. One more gadget. Um, well, this is it. Here we go. I tell you how, what okay, I think about so it in the video. It's like week six of staying inside it feels like week 60 of staying inside. I'm so tired of being indoors. And so many press events have been canceled. Uh, the Javits Center, our big convention center right now, is a hospital. <laughs> so there are going to be no uh, trade shows there in the next few months, uh, is my fear. Okay, so I've been buying more stuff online. We've been talking a lot about Woot. I saw this uh, on Woot, the power bank. 5,200 uh, milliamps, Bluetooth speaker, but there's more. Okay, uh, so this is a little mobile power guy. All right, so 5,200 milliamps. Let me just hit this little button here. All right, so you got the little meter. Most of them have that, so you can tell this one is fully charged. If you hold that button down a little bit longer, you get an LED flashlight. And we'll just turn that off. But something I've not seen on a little power bank is a micro SD card slot wow. right above the charging port. Uh, this is uh, charging out for charging devices. So it's 5,200 milliamps. My LG7, I think, is 4,000 milliamps. So you could charge it uh, one and, I don't know, one and a third times. Uh, this has... Uh, a little voice in it. Uh, Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. Uh, you can use it as a mute. <laughs> it seems when that chime, for some reason that chime sh uh, turns the video off. Go figure. <laughs> we had to do it three uh, okay, times so until we realized the chime was shutting the not camera. Quite sure. Weird. What I can use this for, I do have someone who can use it. They have a very old car. They use their cell phone, obviously, uh, for phone calls. But this comes with a little visor clip that clips on in the back oh. so that you can use your phone and take phone calls through this. It comes with a little 12-volt charger. It comes with a pretty chintzy uh, charging cord. Okay. And let me see. I think that's it. Using it as a music player, you know, I played a little bit of music to it. I mean, this is transistor quality uh, radio. Uh, this, the speaker, you can see how big the speaker is. It's going to be fine for phone conversations, but anything more than that, uh, I'm not so sure. Uh, it was 25 bucks, so not outrageously priced at all. It is sold out on Woot. But if you're interested, it's called Mobile Power. And, you know, I thought, what an old-fashioned logo. But now I'm realizing, I think that's supposed to be a license plate, okay? Um, that says Mobile Power. Uh, that's it. I believe I have given you all the features. And I was glad to be able to talk to somebody. <laughs> Bye. Even if that somebody would only say, Bluetooth on. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> I said, oh, can you say it again? Can you say it again? <laughs> oh, Bluetooth oh, on. Oh, you really, oh, you really you. like yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, that's cool. It has a whole bunch of lights, Bluetooth. I, re I think the visor clip would work for a lot of folks because a lot of people do not have a car that will have the, either the aux cable or the extra clip that'll go into the cassette player or all that stuff. Just yeah. And, and, and if you want to use it, a little music player that has the SD card and then it has the yeah. controls, a uh, music pl player controls on the front. Yeah. Um, it's so it's uh, sold out on ThinkGeek, but today I got a thing from Until Gone <laughs> and wow. their lead is that, what? that uh, unit. Oh my gosh. And it's, it's just a buck more. Oh I pay twenty four ninety nine, and they just want twenty five ninety nine. There it is. Oh, there Very you go. Cool. There's there's what it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty. I like that. Yeah. Cheap. It's 
power, Bluetooth, phone, and MP3 all in one. It's great. All in one. It's all in one. All, in um, all right. So that brings us to your final. You know you don't need it, but you might <laughs> want it at chance. It's Rappy Corner. Get it. Okay, now we get the final of the retro month. Retro gadgets reimagined for the 21st century. <laughs> um, so this is something that I, is, harkens back to something that I lived through, which was mixtapes. Now, when it was my generation, it was mixed CDs. So a, a friend would figure out what type of music they thought you would like that they had in their library. They'd burn it onto a CD and hand it to you. Before that, it was mixtapes, so it'd be on a cassette, you know, instead of on a CD. So this kind of harkens back to that, but brings it into the current age. So the product is called Mash Tape, the original mash tape .com, com. It comes in oh, this I nice know. box, which I really actually like the packaging. One, because you're probably gonna give this to a friend, is the idea. And so you can just slip off this logo, oh, that's and nice. now yeah. it's already in a little box that you can just kind of hand to them as a, as a nice gift. Inside is a mixtape. So it looks just like a cassette. Spoiler, it's not a cassette. It comes in the cute little box. So it looks like this. It has the jewel case. So you right. open this up and you could write little things on it. You know, it uses all, all the old stuff that you'd expect. This is what it looks like, but obviously it's not a cassette. It is a USB stick. So you would load up whatever you wanted to share to your friend on this fun little USB stick, and then you can give it to them. This is eight gigabytes. Um, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. Um, the only issue that I had with this is that <laughs> when plugging it in, I, it, you can't remove the USB thing from <laughs> the tape you can it kind of is in there with a little bit of a like a friction hole but every time i kind of get close to pulling that thing out i feel like i'm gonna break the whole thing oh oh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh well well no, why I'm can't like, you leave the thing hanging on because it's just huge like... it's just like it takes up like all the ports <laughs> on my computer it's just really big and you know and it'll only go one way because oh it's, i see it's thing yeah. and so I have to basically, if I'm gonna plug it into the front of the, of the computer, it's the only way that I can. I have to unplug anything else in any of those ports and then I shove it in. Um, if I go for the back, I just can't. <laughs> Cause I have to like yeah, unplug. I, I, yeah, I know what you mean now. A whole bunch of stuff. Um, so that's a kind of a down, that's in the crappy category of, uh, of this product. Um, but other than that, it's really, I mean, it's, there's not really much else to demo other than it's a USB stick. When you plug it in, there is a little light underneath the plastic, so it'll blink just to show that it's, uh, it's in use. Um, this was fairly inexpensive. I think it's a perfect gift price at $15. Oh, okay. That's very funny. I was going to yeah. guess fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. You oh, okay. 50 cents yeah, we'll over by fifty cents. Yeah. Wow. And that's what it is. So it's just a fun hey. way if you're going to give someone something digitally, to sort of package it up in a way you could write on it. You know, you see all these little. Oh, that's fun. You know, fun little things and uh, and whatnot. It's interesting. They show different colors, but I did. There's no other colors here. Um, Maybe if I go to their website, uh, I can I can find more colors. And you can see that I purchased this on the 22nd, and it didn't, took a little while uh, to get here. So Mash Tape is the gadget. I'm gonna go to their uh, website just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Here it is. Yep, that's it. Uh, shop all. There you go, okay, so, you, oh, they're cheaper! What? Oh my God! Oh no, they're more. You only paid fourteen forty nine. Oh, you're right. You're right. Why did I think? I thought it was twenty five dollars for some reason. Quickly. <laughs> uh, okay, so they are more expensive, but you get a whole bunch of different things to, different colors to to try out. So this one looks like a black version of it. 
holy moly, their website is slow. There's the black version. Oh, okay. Um, there you go. So, okay, yeah, it is more expensive. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I kind of had a brain fart. It's cute. That's a very cute idea. Yeah. Mixtape. Uh, mashtape.com. It says mixtape on the actual thing. Mashtape, the original mashtape.com if you want to find out more. Um, and uh, give the gift of digital music. There you go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Scooter X found it on Ollie. Baba. Uh-oh. Let's see. How much, how much does this cost? <laughs> It goes down to 50 cents. That might be a bad. Uh, well, one gigabyte. Uh, all seven options. Okay, so let's price this at the eight gigabytes. Color. <laughs> okay. Uh, what, what do I need to select? Quantity. <laughs> uh, 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 How do you select quantity? I don't know. This is block. Go away, Alibaba. I, I don't know. Anyway, you might be able to get it for 12 bucks if you get it off of Yeah, Lollipop. but I, I like it in the little packaging and everything that you got. I think that's really cool. So there you yeah. go. Mash tape. The original mash tape dot com. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in this gadget warehouse. Longhorn. I didn't realize that so, was Alibaba, not AliExpress. I was like, why can't <laughs> I use this site? That's I needed to like type in how many I needed. Anyway, to you, Dick. Okay, Jeffrey Smolovitz says, Hi, sir. It's been a while. Uh, here's a crappy corner video of a nostalgic Ooh. device. <gasps> that I converted to a modern smart device. This is perfect. So it's right in take uh, in uh, keeping with Chad's uh, final gadget. And here is Jeff's video. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> hey, Dickie D. Hey, Chad. How are you? This is Jeff from New York with another old gadget that I converted. As you can see, if you can kind of look at it, I'll zoom in a little bit. It's an old drive-in speaker. Um, from, I That's guess, the so 50s cool. or the 60s. So I did something to it. Um, you can see the wire a little bit coming out. I have it hooked up to a battery pack in the back. Um, but I took all the guts out. I saw it at a garage sale. I thought it was kind of cool. I'm sitting in my car right now, um, just like they used to back in the day. And I converted it a little bit. So let's try it. Alexa, how you doing today? I'm feeling super productive. <laughs> I've set a gazillion timers. And now I'm brushing up on my Klingon. All right. Little words of wisdom from Alexa. Um, but as you can see, and I'll roll down the window a little bit without it falling. I hooked up a battery oh, wow. back, pack, pack to, excuse me, a little battery pack to a portable. Um, the little USB wires sticking out of the side. Um, just a little novelty, um, especially these times when we're not really going anywhere because of the virus. We could sit on our driveway, can listen to some music, uh, listen to some uh, gizwiz and anything like that, um, and, and get entertained just like they used to back in the day. So I hope all is well, and I love your show and keep up the great work. Take care. Bye. That is amazing. Isn't Jeff, that, that is great? So cool. The all, I didn't... It, boy, it's been a. Did you even have? You didn't have drive-in theaters, right? I've never once been to a drive-in. Never saw one, yeah. No, okay. I forgot. It's earlier, someone said in the chat, and there's one near me, um, but someone said in the chat, they're becoming more popular because they can still uh Oh, operate. yes. Because <laughs> you're totally social distanced inside of your car. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're kind of having a resurgence. And there is one near me. Um, and I just realized they were so big. I thought it was like this big. <laughs> it was like that what, big. What, the speaker? Yeah, that speaker oh, was Oh, yeah, well, it had to be big enough so everybody in the car could... Uh, yeah, could hear. That is yeah. awesome, Jeff. That is so cool. That is that is a very great idea. Of course, nowadays when you go, they probably hand a big Bose system here. <laughs> or <laughs> exactly. a, a big Sonos, a big every, wireless every Sonos. Every window has one, so it's surround. <laughs> yeah. And then say, uh, can you open your trunk? We want to uh, put a 17-inch yeah. uh, subwoofer in your trunk. Open your trunk. Oh my gosh, that's uh, so cool. Jeff, that was great. That was, a, uh, was so great, and the timing was great because it fit right in with uh, old tech, uh, new tech theme. 
Um, uh, so Jeff gets a uh, uh, Mad Magazine and um, Alfred E. Newman picture. He's the last one we're going to. So if, if you're re- sending uh, warehouse videos in, I'm just going to send those people who've done a lot of videos. Um, the, the new Mad Magazine, okay? Because I've been sending out, uh, running out of uh, Alfred E. Newman pictures. So if you're a first time uh, sender inner, You'll get a Mad Magazine and an Alfred E. Newman picture, a 38-year-old Alfred E. Newman picture. And so send more videos, okay? Anything to do with a gadget. Um, could be a new gadget that you hate, new gadget you love, or Jeff, God, found an old gadget and did a conversion. Anything to do with a gadget, make a uh, video, one to three minutes. Jeff was like a minute and a half, minute and 50 seconds. Put it up on YouTube. You can click on listed if you only want people with the URL to be able to see it and send that to us. It's mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And I think we have one more, might have one new video from someone who's not sent in before. And then we'll be out. Uh, so send us some videos. Mail at gizwiz.tv. <clears throat> Oh, and right you'll be before, doing a new uh, poll, right? I will. I will. So I'll be asking the patrons what the next theme should be. I have some good ones in mind. Um, also, okay. Bleak found the, the this thing for thirty for what three dollars, Australian for thirty two gigabytes. <laughs> What? Uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Well, what is a oh, free economy shipping? Yeah, so there you go. Uh, it doesn't have any of the packaging or the stickers yeah, no, or anything like yeah. that. But still, <laughs> three bucks for 32 gigabytes is not bad. Boy. I don't know what the conversion to Australian dollars is, but I'm sure it's not that bad at three bucks. Four dollars. Oh, and I how long? Uh, did it say in um, May? It said uh, estimated between... The Thursday, the 21st, and <laughs> July 9th. <laughs> just, June is just gone. <laughs> no, just, that's all right. We don't deliver anything in June. We'll be catching up with the May stuff. That's pretty crazy. Um, so there you go. You got another option for uh, that cassette. With that, let's move on to the letter. Wow. And I was able to find a letter that fits in with what? your theme. Uh, hi, Dick and Chad. Last week, Chad showed the speak and spell. That was a couple weeks ago. I had a math and speak as a kid, and it was made by Texas Instruments. And, you know, I found one online. Did I send you the link to that? Uh, let me look at that. Oop. Okay. I may not. If not, if you just type in. I see in, it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay, okay. I found one. I actually, We had this too. You <laughs> had that too? Yeah. Yeah, we oh totally did. Oh my God. We went all oh. in with the speak and spell, <laughs> apparently. Did you see how much they want for it? No, wait. <laughs> 60 bucks? $100? Uh, no, 130 30 bucks. Holy moly. Yeah, sorry, oh I was reading this up here. This uh, gets $70 off instantly. Oh, my gosh. Used. Speak. Used. Collectible. collectible. Oh, it's very collectible. Good. Right. Used very good. Very wow. good. Oh, I see. If it's if it's collectible, yeah. it's an extra $20. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. I see. The, the, the 149 it's, comes yeah. in the original box. Has almost nowhere... Screen has, click the more. Screen has, has severe cracks. Some very light oh, scratching. All light scratching, scuffing. scruffing. Box is excellent. Small tear at latch. Wow. Tested, played. Okay. That's crazy. It is crazy. It is Man. crazy. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, we, you... I, we did definitely had the speak in math, too. Um I didn't use it nearly as much. But do, do you have, do you ever watch Antique Roadshow? Yeah, totally. You, uh, yeah. Did you see the guy with the Rolex? No. Okay, man in the military bought a Rolex <clears throat> uh, 40, 50 years ago at the 
PX, I think they're called. Yeah, yeah. Uh, paid three hundred and forty nine dollars for it. This is like forty or fifty years ago, and loved it so much, he put it in a safe deposit box. <laughs> the The warranty was it wasn't even numbered. So the guy appraising it said, this warranty alone to a collector is worth $2,000. Whoa, just a piece of that paper. You, yes, that you would have a Rolex guarantee that is so old they didn't even number them. Whoa. He said you have the original receipts. The instruction book has like not been opened yet. Um, and he said, and you have a special version of this that is, <clears throat> they're all waterproof because I think it was the oyster line. He said, but you have the oyster line with the screw down uh, cases over each dial to make it totally waterproof. He said, this is worth between four hundred and five hundred thousand dollars. And the guy just falls on the floor. Oh, my gosh. Kind of faking it. Uh, and, and after the show, if you go to YouTube and type in um, um, Antique Road Show Rolex watch, it yeah. comes up. I mean, it was astounding that – imagine – that he loved it so much, he just kept it in the safe deposit box. There it is. There's the guy. And there's the watch. Wow. And, yeah. And I, I, it's crazy to see all of the... Uh, so he never used it. He just like never, never opened it. Never, he said he took it out like every 10 years. <laughs> he take it out and look at it. Maybe <laughs> wind it. I don't know. Wow. It and, looks really yeah, good. All the original paperwork. Yeah, it was just scan through a little and you'll see him fall down. Oh um gosh. He has the original instruction book. He said, also, Paul Newman wears it in a movie, which made it uh, oh, very so. valuable. Wow. Uh, yeah. These watches, as we've talked on. Uh... Okay, so here, let's, see, let's yeah, go until is, he yeah, falls that, down. There he goes. Okay, let's go back and watch it. <laughs> like this at auction is worth about $400,000. <laughs> you okay? He's like. Please, not for the show. I need to make sure you're okay. <laughs> Don't fall. I'm not done yet. I said a watch like hey, yours. Like of yours? The condition of it. Basically, it's a new old stock watch. No wear on it. That's The amazing. original foil sticker on the back of it. And the fact that we have all this complete documentation here also. Maybe one of the very few in the whole world that still was never worn. Your watch at auction today, 500 to $700,000. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh my gosh, that is crazy. Isn't that is that insane. Funny? That is insane. I didn't even realize it was 500 to $700,000. Yeah. Oh. That's a, that's a... Well, now, now that's speaking spells for 150 is like a bargain. I'll take it. Maybe, maybe <laughs> we can take it to an antique road show a little bit later. Yeah. Oh my gosh, whoa. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, uh, buy that stock. <laughs> <laughs> right. So it's buy either that or a table, a laptop table. You know, that's. I think I'm probably going to invest in laptop tables. I think the yeah. uh, Rolexes are for someone else. Uh, that about wraps it up for our show. Hey, huge thank you to our patrons over at Patreon.com/slash/Gizwiz. You guys are incredible. You guys support the show. Every single episode, I want to say thank you so much for your support. If you want to support the show, head on over to uh, patreon.com slash gizwiz and support. That happens every single episode. So every time we upload a new episode, you guys are supporting whatever you pledge. Thank you so much for that. If Patreon is not how you want to support the show and you want to give via PayPal, you can head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and then there is a PayPal link on that page just below this big old If you want to support the show and you want to give via banner. PayPal, you can head on... Sorry for the uh, echo there. <laughs> Went to the website and I was already talking. Uh, so right there on that Patreon tab. Uh, when you're there at the website, hey, you can watch the show live, like I'm doing, right now. It's live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. 
and whenever we're live, just the website just updates so that uh, the player will be right there. If you don't watch live, don't worry. You can catch all the previous episodes right here below the player and uh, peruse, enjoy at your leisure. We also are on uh, Apple Podcasts, iTunes. Uh, there's an RSS link on the website to use it in any podcatcher of your choice and also on YouTube if you want to watch that way. Um, about wraps well, up. we just continued to the 8-track version, I believe. <laughs> yes. That one yeah. no longer uh, ships. No. Uh, no. And also that whole like Netflix thing where we mailed it to your house, that's done with. Oh, that's right. That's we we right. got uh, away from, from that. Um, thank you to those of you who support on Patreon. And that about wraps it up. I guess we'll see you next uh, week. Le- uh, if oh, you're watching, you can play the What the Heck Is It for about three oh, more, four, four yes. more hours. Totally but fun. if you're listening after that, there's a whole new game yep. starting tomorrow. So, uh, And then next week at this time, we'll tell you what that thing was. Head on over to gizwiz.biz to do that. How did I forget about that? Gizwiz.biz. Click on What the Heck Is It, and we'll find out soon this weekend we'll find out what that is get a guessing right now if you're basically if you're watching the live show you can still get in your guesses 12 mad magazines for incorrect answers six mad magazines for correct answers so get a guessing and this is the this is the ma- magazine okay Perfect. for that we'll see you next week i'll be here <laughs>